Uh, okay, so it's been a while actually. When did I last do this? I, I don't know. This is like the first thing I've actually recorded in April. Actually something quite funny happened uh, yesterday. Sometimes when I'm not vlogging or doing everything that I do, I'd go to a place and just kind of hang out there. I won't tell you what I do, but anyway, I was taking a bit of a break from this thing and I was upstairs in a room having like a cup of tea and I heard some weird stuff kind of happening outside. So kind of like poked my head out the window and I saw some police trying to arrest this man and this man was uh, drunk by the looks of it, I would, I would imagine. And he was swearing and, and just being a nuisance. And I like, literally looked away for a minute and then I <laughs> looked back and suddenly Superman was there. <laughs> <laughs> it was this guy dressed up as Superman helping the police to arrest this guy. I just thought this was the funniest funniest thing ever. So I, I took some photos, put it on Twitter, um, tagged in uh, the local news, BBC News. And uh, let's say that they thought it was quite interesting and they published some articles online. I had the EDP and the Evening News, which I think is the same company. They shared the story. Um, they actually went and interviewed the guy as well and got got some uh, information from him. But they used my photos that I shared on, on Twitter and they even gave me like a really neat little kind of reference. I'm just gonna share it all on the side here. So, um, yeah, no, they call me like a Norwich comedian and YouTuber, Pete Butler. <laughs> Local police also kind of uh, tagged me in some tweets as well. Again, I'll put them all here and, and like, it was great and like my phone is still going off with people just liking my original tweet. And then today I got a message from a BBC reporter who was asking if he can share my pictures and I was like, you can, absolutely can. And I sent him a few more over um, DMs and, um, and then he asked me for a quote for the for the thing. So I just kind of I just kind of told him what happened. I just said I was having my lunch, heard the commotion, put my head out. Uh, some guy getting arrested, uh, turn around for a minute, look back, suddenly Superman's there and he's saving the day. And uh, so I've also been published on the BBC website with this quote as well. I don't know. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go to the shop and just see, I'm just going to see if it's been printed in the local paper. <laughs> because that... Uh, that would be the uh, that would be the cherry on the cake. I'm in the paper. I got Norwich Evening News. Boom! I'm gonna read it to you. It was not a bird or a plane, but a Superman that police in Norwich are grateful to as he helped come to the aid of officers as they arrested a man for being drunk and disorderly in the city. Salim Said, 39, was dressed in a Superman costume complete with red monogrammed cape and blue leggings as he helped raise money for a project which supports people with mobility problems. The Man of Steel had been collecting money at the back of the inns in Norwich yesterday afternoon when police arrived to arrest the man for antisocial behaviour. Mr. Said was pictured by shocked onlookers as he too intervened to try and help police with the arrest. He said, Police arrived to arrest a drunk and disorderly man. There were several officers attempted to get him in the van and take him away. But Saeed said the man became more aggressive, which is when he stepped in. I could see he was getting more aggressive. I just helped calm him down. I was talking to him and telling him, be quiet, as there was children about. I was just trying to calm him down and stop him from being so aggressive. Mr. Saeed, who has previously helped tackle offenders elsewhere, what a hero, said... <laughs> He did, however, praise Norwich's police for their actions during the arrest. He said, They were very professional. You hear so many bad things about the police, but what I saw was just amazing. They really did have his welfare heart. A Norfolk police spokeswoman confirmed that officers were called to the area near Castlemore entrance at around 2 pm. Two reports that a man who was believed to have been drinking alcohol was being antisocial. The incident was spotted by Norwich comedian and YouTuber Pete Butler who tweeted pictures from the scene with the message Amazing scenes in Norwich today as Superman helps at Norwich Police UK arrest the bad guy. <laughs> Amazing. And it's also in other newspaper, the Eastern Daily Press. It's pretty much the same article just with a different font for the heading. This is so funny, I made the paper. I didn't make the papers. I mean, my, I don't know, what is it? My my photo made the papers. Um, my report made the papers. Um, but like, the, the, it's essentially the crime, isn't it? Okay, so today I found out that my article about Superman, uh, or my tweet about Superman, 
had been published in the Daily Star. Superman to the rescue. <laughs> uh, it was thanks to my friend Ben, uh, he told me about this. Um, it's really cool, I get a credit in there as well, a little mention, which is really nice. So I actually rang up my mum and I said, Mum, you have to go and buy the, you have to go buy the Star because I'm in it. I told her about this the other day and she told Dad. And he actually said that he had read it in the sun but they had thrown the paper away, so Mum actually uh, had to go to the bin to get the paper out of the <laughs> Your bin. Your dad was like, just, oh, yeah. get it out of the bin! <laughs> just so they had like a little bit of me in the newspaper. So just going by the star, Mum, it's got my name, it's got my photo, it's like, it, this is one that you can brag about to Deirdre next door. Well, that means your mum has to go and buy the Daily Star. <laughs> that was the only awkward bit about it, was buying the Daily Star. But it's cool, I mean, I got a credit, although I was a bit annoyed, because I, uh, I went on the website for The Sun, and they didn't give me a credit. They didn't, they didn't they give me credit, they're bastards. The no one pays me. There was a company that got in touch and asked me if they could, uh, if they can use the photo. Uh, and I said, that's fine. Um, and they did give me like this little kind of waiver, which was fine. And it said that they're gonna kind of share it out with newspapers and other um, kind of news production teams and stuff. And I guess that's where the Sun and the Star got it, but at least the Star give me a bit of credit, but the Sun will I know. <laughs> uh, this has just been funny. This whole thing has been quite silly. I really feel like the fact that it's got to, like, the Star, <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere else. You're not gonna see this in the Independent or anything. This is a silly story. Um, and I think that's, that's as far as it's gonna get. 